A long time ago, on the Great Western Railway, there was a tank engine who, d who did not have a name, just a number, 101. He was the only member of his type, and he was very rude because of that. He was extremely boastful, and he did not want to do any shunting. He just only liked to pull past the trains, despite him being a shunting tank engine. What? Whenever he was needed to shunt wagons, he would often just bump them so hard that they would almost come off the rails. The other engines tried to warn him to be careful, but he just scoffed. George and Hawk were also there at the time, and they were all, and they were constantly talking about Hawk uh, about engine 101 and did not know whether to tell the manager to replace him. But he, but whenever the other express engines told him to shun their coaches away, he would never listen. He would just want, he would just force them to shun the coaches away. Well, this might have been a bit true, because since tender engines can shunt, but not that often, because no, you know what that. One night, at October 22nd, 1943, during the war, he buffered up to some nuclear tanks that were actually from Australia, but they accidentally were shipped to England, so he was ordered to take it to, the, to Southampton, so it will be shipped to Germany. And when the guard blew the whistle, then the, then the rude tank engine set off. As he was puffing down the main line, he was feeling a bit bumpy. The coach, the wagons jittered, and but then it happened. He did not even say a word, and the driver fireman tried to slow him down. But instead, he one of one started to go faster and faster. His pistons rattled, and the and the wagons rattled right right behind him. The, he was just going faster than he had ever gone before. Suddenly, they switched onto a wrong track, heading away from the main line. Then they saw some t another set of nuclear tankers on the line. They tried to break him, but then... I wish I could say that he did survive the accident, but actually he didn't. 101 was burned down along with the nuclear tankers. The manager sent him to the scrapyard in, in Wales, and he, now he sits there. But some say that on that on the night, one that on the night when it's so silent, you may be able to see his ghost whizzing, whistling through the. The, the railways. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>